that's right. I'm excited for you to get out there. And, and also against, you know, a proven team from last year, I imagine that, not that you're not focused on that first start, but, you know, having a comp some competition like that. Yeah, um, I'm really excited. I've been I've been thinking about this for a while. And, uh, I've been, you know, working really hard, just like everybody else. Um, we've heard some things about St. Louis. We know they're returning some guys. We know they return to play of the year on offense, and then I think they're returning to pitcher of the year, too. So we know that they're going to be a good team. We know they had 40-something wins last year. So great competition for opening weekend. Um, we're really excited to see how we match up against someone who had as many wins as they did last year. Uh, we're confident. We're excited. We're ready to go. What, what year off season helped you kind of land this this top of the weekend spot in the rotation? I feel like Cape Cod this summer was a big difference for me. I learned a lot up there. Got to see how my stuff matched up with some of the other top prospects in the country, and just kind of I gained some confidence in myself and learned a lot of stuff about my off speed that I didn't know before that helped me out um, in the fall. That was probably the biggest difference that helped me get to where I am now. And same thing in the spring was difference was my off speed, especially like developing the change up in the fall and just working on my slider and my curveball. Because I've had a fastball before and you know, just working on command of that, but the biggest difference was learning just how to throw a change up and then also how to just work the counts and try to get more put away stuff so I can, uh, don't have to worry about my defense as much. And you know, I'm pretty confident with them behind me, but I'd like to be able to get myself out of jam sometimes if I need to. I asked Jordan too, but Mitch mentioned, you know, seeing a noticeable difference with guys on offense this off season, you know, in terms of how they've been swinging. Yeah, you probably sure. get, you yeah. probably get a good look at that. Uh, I get tired of throwing against them because some of them are so locked in. You can't throw anything over the plate; they're going to hit it. Uh, a lot of the guys with them balls off the scoreboard almost every weekend. And you're just like, I don't know where that's been the last few years, but I'm really glad it's here now. So, uh, just overall, the offense has really picked up, and I'm just really impressed by how locked in they are right now. They don't. They don't seem to be fouling off as many pitches when they when they take good passes at the ball. They square it up. Uh, they don't get fooled as much. They seem to know what to take and what not to take. And I'm really excited because that's something we haven't had the two years I've been here before. At least at this point, you know, guys get locked in more down in the season. But right now, they're as sharp as I've ever seen them. On the flip side, I just talk about the defense with Georgia out there at center, especially up the middle, and Mikey and Kyle. Just how important is that to have a great defense up the middle? I mean, it's huge. It takes so much pressure off you. Um, the rest of the team feels comfortable, with, especially the pitching staff. We're, we're not worried about leaving the ball over the plate as much. I mean, you don't want to just you know, throw meat all the time. But uh, if you leave the ball up in the zone, especially down the middle, if guys can hit it dead center, you're comfortable that Georgia's going to run it down. And it's going to be really hard to hit a ball out dead center here. It's 400 feet, and this place doesn't – ball doesn't travel really well here. So if you can keep it in the ballpark at some point, we're pretty comfortable with Georgia or Ryan or Ben out there in the outfield. They'll be able to turn it down. Same thing on the infield, any kind of ground ball. It's, I wouldn't say it's a sure thing because nothing's a sure thing in this game, but uh, you just don't expect anything bad to go happen. Bad to happen if you get a ground ball, especially with somebody on base. You're comfortable getting the double play. You talk about the bullpen, especially with, with Kyle coming in from second base, possibly into to relief. Uh, yeah, he he did some of that in the fall and some this spring. Uh, he did a little bit last year in the off season. He didn't really he didn't pitch any last year. If they were, they didn't think he was ready for that. They just wanted to work on second base and stuff. And he did a great job with that. But uh, in the fall. He did some in the World Series, and he was—he kind of did some closing situations there. And same thing in the spring. He's got really good off speed. You know, he spots up his fastball really well, and he's just got some really nasty breaking balls and stuff. And so he's somebody that we're we're comfortable with coming in to close type situation if we need it. Is there one thing in particular you can't wait for everyone to see that's different? I would say there's one thing in particular. I'm just I'm really excited about this year, and I hope that everybody gets to see that. We are a team that can play with anybody. We can beat anybody. We, I feel like we've earned a little bit of respect, and we've got some of that with some of the preseason rankings, but those things don't really mean anything until we go out there and actually play. So I'm just excited to see how we can produce this year, and I, I really think we can go as far as we can this year. Anything else? All right, that's